A good night teacher today I'm going to talk about a uh, TED talk the name of the TED talk is made global corporations hidden players the girl the name of the girl that makes that uh, TED talk is a uh, charming Gooch but who is charming Gooch charming Gooch is an anti-corruption campaigner who in 2014 was named on Bloomer's Marker's 15 most influential leads. Okay, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the, the TED Talk. Uh, when we imagine corruptions, it tends to be a minister or a despot of all small overseas nations, living in famous luxury. Sherman leads a few perfect examples of this behavior. However, these people cannot operate without support from the rest of the world. Their mansions and art pushes are arranged through global banks and despots in oil, in oil rich nations, most to deal with the largest oil companies. Many corrupt leaders made their profits through anonymous shell companies, but what is anonymous shell companies? It's a company or organizations that exist only on paper and has no office and no employees, but mainly on paper and has no office and no employees, but may have a bank account or may hold passive investments or be the re registered owner of assets such as intellectual property or, or chips. Uh, shell companies do have neo-made neo business purposes. Uh, okay, but how, okay. Uh, they are commonly used around the world to avoid paying taxes, but can also be used to steal massive amounts of money from poor companies. Uh, a recent example involved Democratic Republic of Congo selling of statute on mining assets to a shell company, which quickly unsold uns them from massive profits. The people of Congo lost $1.3 billion from these deals, more, more than twice their education and health budgets company. Charmaine investigate the deal, but many of the details are locked away in the shell companies. There's view that corrupt just happens and it's impossible to change. But two to three of oil meaning companies by value are known covered by a trans transparency standard because groups demand it. In a globalized world, corruption is a global business that needs solution right there. Uh, in the TED talk, we talk about type of, of different things, like a man who were, was the, the president of Congo and he died in 2006, but he have a lot of power and he did whatever he wants in, in the Republic of El Congo and it that it happens because of the corruption but what is corruption corruption is a form of this of this is this is or criminal activity undertaken by a person or organization and trust with a position or of authority often to acquire illicit benefits Corruption may include many activities, include bribery and embolismment. Uh, pol political corruption occurs when an office holder or other go governmental employee acts in an official capacity for a person again. Uh, okay, talking about this man who was the president of El Congo, uh, his name is Neri or criminal activity undertaken by a person or organization and trust with a 
position or of authority, often to acquire illicit benefits. Corruption may include many activities in both bribery and embolismment. Uh, pol political corruption occurs when an office holder or other governmental employee acts in an official capacity for a person again. Uh, okay, talking about this man who was president of El Congo, uh, his name was Sapporo Nijor, and he did whatever he wants uh, with his money. Um, everything of okay, he creates uh, this money because of the corruption. Uh, okay, it's important to know that this man uh, only has like only won like seven thousand of dollars but he has a he he had a, a lot of money like uh, 10 millions of dollars in the united states but all of this happened because of the global facility which uh, in the second part uh, she said that is a co-founder of ngo global fitness investigates global corruption after years of research, she has discovered the roots of corruption that keep poor countries poor. Money flows from corrupt business dealing with the assistance of international banks and anonymous companies to disguise the natural of illegal transactions. Banks again substantially profits by accepting the business of dodgy customers, tax evaders, drug smugglers, arms dealers, and corrupt politicians don't want to be linked to their money, their money. So they create shells company to hold and hide their assets. Nigeria is a common example and it has experienced an oil bomb of over 15 years. Yet Niger remains among the world's poorest people with 84 living and less than two dollars a day. And estimately 4,000 billion has gone missing from Nigeria oil revenues. For instance, Royal Dutch Shell and Italy oil giant any paid the Nigerian government 1,000 92 billion dollars for lucrative oil block OPL 2045. This money has been paid to Malibu Oil and Gas, which own the rights. NGO is a company owned separately by Dan Etebe, former Nigerian oil minister, who had illegally acquired this lucrative oil block and they still benefit from it. Rich and poor countries alike are suffering from lost health due to lack of knowledge about who owns, controls and profits from companies and the resulting tax evolution and corruption that follows the secretary. In a globally safe group, there is a great need for a global transparency standard and from people to call other governments to support it. Uh, my thoughts. Uh, there were a lot of examples throughout this talk and I struggle.